one who doesn't care to attack it anymore, but then again, he's been through a dozen consoles. He's broken all these. He's broken all these. He broke that one. He broke these ones. All these behind here. He broke them. The Xbox just wasn't built to handle Benson. So while I'm still working on building a content plan for this channel, I've decided to go ahead and take on a couple projects. First project I want to take on is this thing. So I've had this for a while and it came pre-season. This is a wonderful cast iron skillet. Um, don't even know that name. It was pretty cheap when I got it, but it came pre-season. I've seasoned it a few times, but the thing is, it's a... Uh, it's worse for wear. I go a little bit without using it and it comes out with rust and the rust lets all the seasoning come off and then I have to re-season it. So my plan for this is I'm going to strip the patina off of this beautiful work of cookery art and I'm going to re-season it. And for this I'm going to need to take it to my job. So I'm going to use this wonderful thing to pull all of the patina off of that in this wonderful floral service um, shop and hopefully get it down to the metal. I already did a test surface and it looks like it's going to be just fine. So let's see how it goes. It should be fun, guys. Interesting. Just came across this wonderful crack here. I don't know how bad is it is if it's structural or what the hell's going on with it. But that is definitely interesting. I don't know if that was just like a crack in the original patina or what happened, but hopefully it's not on the other side in the baking in the cooking part of this. So, all right, back to it. The good part so far is that there's no cracks in here. Everything looks like it's going to be salvageable. <sighs> now I'm realizing that the fun part is really going to be getting the nooks and crannies. Not looking forward to that. I don't even know what that is. It's just shitty casting and the previous seasoning hid that. I don't know if that's affecting the cook quality, but so far I've got most everything off. I might sand it a little bit more by hand this time and if I like the results enough, I'll start seasoning it. So I soaked in a little vinegar and then cleaned it out a little bit more and now let's go ahead and commence with the baking process. So everybody always does their seasoning a little bit different and you will look at a million different videos on YouTube and see a million different ways to season your pan. There are oils that some people swear don't work, some people swear oh no only use this one. Um, the one thing that's unilaterally uh, agreed upon is that only hipsters use flaxseed oil. What we're actually going to do is we're going to use just some basic olive oil. 
extra virgin from Winco, and a little bit of butter, regular ass butter. And just do a 450. Make sure inside your pan. Well, my oven is gross, so don't mind that. Make sure inside. Otherwise, it's going to make your oven smelly. Also, make sure you have ventilation running because olive oil, if you use it, gets real smelly when you put it at high temp. I'm going to let that preheat and come back to it. Okay, so it's worth noting that while I'm recording the time lapse and knocking over dishes over here, that I have to vent out my entire house because I didn't clean my oven before doing this. This is something I highly recommend because now I have to vent out my whole house <laughs> because I'm doing this. So always clean your oven. Also, yeah, I'm reminded very heavily that olive oil stinks when you uh, season pans with it. So this is one of those few rare times when YouTube captures exactly what a catastrophic failure looks like. For instance, while shooting a time lapse of a pan baking for two hours. Let's go back. All right, I think it's done. Alexa, stop timer. Okay, it looks okay. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It looks a little bit better. Let me set that down. So hot is burning through my shit. I don't know. Let me see. For the most part, it looks okay. Looks like the surface is a. Uh, well, fairly even. It's not perfect, perfect. But you know what? It definitely looks better than it did. It's not junky. I'm going to just have to probably get some use out of it instead. Of course, this could just be the perfectionist in me coming out. But I think it's okay for the most part. We're going to give it a try and see if it works for some cooking. 280. That is almost what we need. I could probably just go ahead and start throwing the sausage on now. Y'all are gonna get to watch paint dry now. Woo, paint dry. Need to take four links. One thing I do like about this pan, even though it's cheap, I got a few lids from other stuff like this uh, fiberware uh, pan that I have, this big old pot actually, that I can use to make stews. Kind of sticking kind of hard a little bit. That's, that's typical of sausage though, so I'm not going to hold it against that yet. But it's nice because I can actually watch everything cooking through my glass here.
So I'm almost pretty sure I lost a little bit of that seasoning to this pancake. See if you look at that, it looks just like a little bit of the patina came off onto it. That's why it's trial and error. All right, so I've been reassured that I didn't take off any of the patina with that pancake, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a try. I'm gonna lightly clean, and then I'm probably gonna once more bake the seasoning onto that pan, and we'll give it one more try. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and do my homework, my homework, and yeah. good fat man eating YouTube that's what it's all about so here it is after a few more bakes got a nice solid layer all across it looks pretty good pretty happy with it I think I might cook something in it I don't know what yet bacon I'm gonna cook some bacon on the end. No pan badness. Only good pan cooking. It did stick a little bit, but honestly I should have put more butter on it. I would say that that I would say that that is mission success. So there it is. Wonderful meal cooked on a well seasoned pan that I was able to salvage. It was like worth nothing. I think I got it at a store like Big Lots or something for like 10 bucks in a set uh, 10 years ago. I never really cooked right, but I never had the heart to get rid of it. So now it's better seasoned. Took it down to nothing and brought it back. Baked it a few times. And now I have the perfect bacon breakfast making machine. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you with the next project. Hey, Layla. I got a present for you. Mm. Oh, you want more already, huh?